Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponent problem? From here, we have 9 raised to the power x plus 12 raised to the power x equals to 16 raised to the power x. From here, let's divide through by 9 raised to the power x. And uh, we divide this by 9 raised to the power x. Also, divide this side by 9 raised to the power x. Then, nearest to power x here, we cancel each other, and this remain 1 here. So, we have 1 plus, here, we have power of x common, we can write it as 12 over 9, all raised to power x from here. Then, which is equal to, here, we can write it as 16 over 9, then all raised to power x as well. Then, in the next step, we can reduce this. 3 will go in 12 and 3 goes in 9. That will be 4 over 3 left. So, we have 1 plus 4 over 3, which is raised to the power x. Now, equals to here, we can write 16 as 4 squared and 9 as 3 squared. And that's raised to the power x from here. Then, in the next step, this power of 2 is also common. We can factor that power out, and that will be 1 plus 4 over 3 raised to the power x. Then, is equals to 4 over 3 square, then raised to the power x. Then, from the law of indices, if this power multiplies, then we can interchange the power. And this is the 1 plus 4 over 3 raised to the power x, then equals to 4 over 3 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 2. Then from there, we have 4 over 3 raised to the power x common. So let's elect that now. Let's mu be equals to 4 over 3 raised to the power x. Then here, we can write it as 1 plus u equals to u squared. And uh, when we take everything to one side, let's take this side to this side, then we have u squared minus u minus 1 equals to 0. Then we can solve this quadratic uh, equation. And we use the quadratic formula, we have u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. And in this case, a is equals to 1, coefficient of u square, b is equals to minus 1, and uh, c is also equals to minus 1. So here, u will now be equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square then minus 4a is 1 then c is minus 1 then over 2 times 1 then when we solve further from here we have u now to be equals to this will be 1 then plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 then over 2. So this is now u equals to 1 plus or minus with 5 over 2. So we have two possible cases here. And the first one we have u to be equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And then also we have u to be equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then recall that we represented u as 4 over 3 raised to the power x and uh, is equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here and uh, also on this side we have 4 over 3 raised to the power x is now equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 now on this side this is still a positive number this is a positive number why this is a negative number so this is not uh, going to be possible from here 
then on this side we apply log on both sides so we have log 4 over 3 raised to power hex now equals to log we have 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here and the uh, from the power law of logarithm x we come to the back here we have x log 4 over 3 now then equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then for, to remove this log 4 over 3 we can divide both side by log 4 over 3 from here divide this side as well by log 4 over 3 and from here log 4 over 3 we cancel out then what we have now is now x equals to here we can write it as log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then divided by we can separate this log here and this will be log 4 plus log 3 and uh, here the same thing as writing it as x equals to when we put this one up here in decimal so we are going to have log 1.618 divided by log 4 that's 2 log 2 and that's we have 2 log 2 now so it is this is division here it's not addition when it is division it will be subtraction of two log so that will minus log three from here then here we have x equals to log the uh, 1.618 that's giving us 0 0.20898 then divide by 2 multiplied by log 2 that's 0 0.301 then minus log 3, 0 0.4771. Then that means we have x now to be equal to 0 0.20898. Then divided by here we give us 0. Point, that's 0 0.602. Then minus 0 0.4771. Then we subtract here and we divide. And from here we have x to be equals to 0 0.20898 then divided by here when we subtract we have 0 0.1249 and then that, that means x will now be equals to 1.673 and the uh, which will be an approximate x value of x. So we can say that x will be approximately equals to 1.673. Of course, we can put the value of x to the original equation given and we confirm if this satisfies the given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Put your comment. See you next lesson. Bye for now.